We're in the kitchen area at the Cape Cod Children's Museum in Mashpee. Cape Abilities Farm in Dennis sells locally grown produce, flowers, and plants from their farm stand. 50 people with disabilities work in all aspects of farm management. And we're going to use some very special ingredients from them to make this wonderful fall soup recipe. Thanks, Kat. We're here at the Wine List in Hyannis. I'm with Weldon Fizel, the chef owner of the Regatta of Katuit, as well as Katie Stubstead, who works at Capabilities Farm. All right, so Weldon, what are we making here today? Uh, we're going to be making a buttercup squash bisque from the um, squash from the Capabilities Farm. And Katie, you helped uh, grow and harvest these, is that yeah. right? Yes, I do. And do you, you work at both farms? The yes, I do. Do you like it? Yes, I do. And you're also a customer, Weldon, of Capabilities. So what, why is it important to you to buy local fresh produce? Well, we like to buy um, as locally as possible. Um, one, for freshness, and two, it also helps out. You know, Capabilities Farm is uh, great for the community. Um, it serves a great purpose for us and for the, um, the people that work there. So we, we, we like the freshness, and it also lasts longer here at the restaurant. And it's a nice story, too, as I walk around the dining room every night, and they say, well, where are these from? And I say, well, they're from Capabilities Farm, which is a great story for the guests, and they, uh, they enjoy the product that much, that much more. And Katie, you have some culinary experience, so what, what are we going to do first here? Okay, first we're going to do the pan and then the pan and inside, and then put it right there. Yeah. So if you want to um, just finish peeling, first thing we need to do is get all the peel off the yes. outside. So if you want to finish that for us. Yep. So I know a lot of people are familiar with butternut squash, but what's, what's the flavor of this like? This is a little sweeter than butternut, uh, has a little nutty flavor to it. Um, it's compared, rather than once it's cooked, it's compared more to a sweet potato rather than a pumpkin. Okay, so now we're going to season the squash. We'll add a little bit of, um, this is cinnamon. And then we also have um, the nutmeg. You can put a little bit of that on there. And again, we're trying to just get it on top of the squash. And um, I pick cinnamon and nutmeg because I think it goes great with the squash. And the third is um, brown sugar. Gives it a little more sweetness. Katie, is it nice to be able to make a meal out of something that you helped grow? Yes, we do. Cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, celery. Okay. Then we're just going to add a little bit of butter on a cover. All right, so here's, here's the squash we just brought out of the oven. Um, and as you can see, it's cooked down and it's very, very soft. We'll put the butter in the pan. Okay, Katie, if you want to add the onions in now. But what we want to do is cook the um, onions slowly until they can become translucent. Okay, now we can add the squash. And what we use at the restaurant, at the regatta, is um, vegetable stock. Smells great and should taste good, right, Katie? That's right. Katie's gonna finish it off for us. Yep. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna put a couple ladles in here, and then you can leave it as is, or what we're gonna do, just add a little more brown sugar and a little cinnamon on top, just for a little garnish. Yep. Is it warm? Just a little tiny bit of that. And then the words. Kapawi. Kapawi. And it's done. Ah, fabulous. It's good. Very good. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for helping me. So this buttercup squash bisque is a wonderful dish you can make for holiday entertaining. And we'd like to thank the wine list, as well as Weldon of the Regatta and Katie from Capabilities.